So hey guys, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I'm going to make this one as quick as possible because I'm super tired. Basically, I wanted to talk about, th well, four main things. Um, one is just, I, I, like, I'm really behind with all of this because I've been meaning to talk about all of this stuff for quite a while. One, um, like, I was never a massive sort of fan of the Hunger Games, not because I didn't like it, just because I never really got into it. And then um, I sort of half watched the first film, um, it was just like on in the background, um, and I sort of really liked the idea of it, then went to see Catching Fire and the film just completely blew me away, just absolutely adored the film. I thought like the fact that it's one of those films where you really do cheer for the heroes and absolutely despise the villains which is good because in most films now you tend to sort of sympathise and most people absolutely love the villains which I find quite funny um, but I want to start reading the books now and sort of properly getting into it um, and obviously you know Jennifer Lawrence for the win um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer absolutely just there were parts of it I didn't like, parts of it that just the CGI and animation, it, you know, there were scenes that looked like they were nothing but CGI, which was a bit of a downer. Um, but the fact that you had the Doctor Octopus and Vulture Easter eggs in there, uh, Green Goblin teased. Um, I like that they're sort of nodding towards villains, but I hope they don't try and include loads of villains per film, because as we found out with Spider-Man 3, that just doesn't work at all. But I'm still really, really uh, excited to see it. Especially being as, like, once you've got the origin story out of the way for superheroes, I find things tend to, to like, get more interesting. Um, and, obviously, I'm uh, really excited to see The Hobbit now as well. It comes out tomorrow, and I'm hopefully seeing it over the weekend. Because, um, like... This was the thing, I read the book, and then I watched the first film, and I was kind of like, oh, they're... It's interesting, because they're trying to stay as true to the book as they can, but then obviously they're mixing in loads of Lord of the Rings links, which some people don't like. I do... I quite like it, because of course we had the Lord of the Rings films first, and it's kind of like, it's nice nostalgia for people when they make a nod to the Lord of the Rings films, and I think their intention is, you what you know, it's going to be one of those things, like with the Star Wars films, you watch the newer ones first, and then the old ones, and it's one big story, um, and I'm hoping that it'll be like that, where we can watch The Hobbit, and then watch through, all the way through The Lord of the Rings, um, with nice continuity, because, you know, that's something that Star Wars failed to do. Lol. Um, and yeah, just as a general sort of catch-up, I haven't really been doing much, which is why I haven't really made many videos. The most exciting thing I did, I went to Exeter for the weekend to visit my friend Miles. Uh, and he's back now on Saturday, this Saturday. Uh, Seth's back tomorrow. We've got two gigs lined up with the band, um, which we're really, really excited about. Uh, got a lot of new material on the way with the band. Um, like, naturally, band and college has pretty much been my main focus. Um, and then, yeah, spending ages just nerding out over everything possible. So, yeah, so like I said, this was just a quick sort of, cap, quick, oh, four minutes, quick catch-up video. Um, and I'm hoping to be making more videos now, like, especially with uh, it being Christmas time, which, of course, we're all very excited about. Uh, so, thanks, guys.